Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be unboxing this uh, board game design starter kit as well as the upgrade pack. Uh, before I get into unboxing though, I just want to mention that it did come with this uh, sheet uh, with a, a little um, dice uh, pips that you can uh, stick onto a blank dice uh, or die because there are uh, blank dice uh, in uh, I think at least one of the packs. So that's what uh, this is for. Uh, it came separate from the actual, like, box, but you can put it in there easily. Uh, okay, so let's get into the actual unboxing. We'll do the upgrade kit uh, second. Let's start with the um, main box. I didn't bring my knife. There. So, it comes with a, uh, well, it comes in a box, but it's a blank box that you can use for your own board game, uh, and you can, like, put your picture on there for, or your art for the board game if you want to keep your board game in here, uh, the one that you're designing. Um, we have the, this Fail Faster play, Early Playtesting Guide, which I could have used last night, but maybe I'll rewatch that video, because, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm designing a board game called uh, Hideous Madness, uh, Hideous Madness, and I uploaded a video last night of my uh, 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 one of my first, or at least my first video playtest of it. It's not the first playtest I playtested it a lot before that, but um, this would have been good to have while uh, playtesting. But uh, I'll have plenty of playtests to go, so this will be useful for the future playtesting. Uh, we have uh, in here another little book, um, How to Design a Board Game, by uh, Gab Barrett. So that'll be an interesting read. Uh, we have some uh, blank stickers. Uh, again, looks like for the dice, uh, they can stick on the, to the dice. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, I think this is um, the board. Yeah, it's a blank board for a board game. And uh, I think you can uh, draw on this with like a, uh, dry erase markers and you'll be able to, you know, make a new board games if you want to like, you know, make a board game and then erase it, make a new one. Then you got some punch outs here for uh, little uh, pieces. Uh, you got uh, hexagons and squares. So you got one, two, three boards of those. And then you got these here. These are uh, kind of like uh, player boards. And you got, uh, let's see, let's see how many, we'll just count the player boards. Okay, so you got four player boards for like four players. Uh, silica pack. All right, then you got these uh, tokens. So you got like electricity tokens, health tokens, or like power, health. Uh, I guess this could be like experience. Um, this could be like different ways of tracking things. And then you just got shapes, some more power there. Then you got this long, uh, looks like, yeah, just one long piece. Uh, from one to nine, so I guess you can like track your rounds that way. Uh, and then we got some more stuff down here. So let's look at these. So there's three uh, shoots in here. So let's look at the others. Okay, so you got like a. Uh, oops. So you got like uh, currency up here you can use for like coins, like ones, threes, fives, tens, and twenties. And then this is like just one long uh, piece. Uh, yeah, let's see what the other one is. Oh, okay. And then you have um, like resources and, and I can use that as like the dagger in uh, my game. 
I can use these as like the red herring symbols. Um, and then you got like uh, lamb, wood, uh, grain and rocks or stone. And then like mystery stuff. And that's cool. Uh, you got like blood here. <laughs> and treasure chests, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, cool, nice. So you got a good assortment of uh, tokens. So here are the blank dice, good size, good weight, yeah very good. So you got um, six, seven, eight dice. Uh, but you got more dice here that are col uh, colored dice. You got black, uh, blue, yellow, red, and uh, like a light purple. You got more dice. Uh, green and white dice with pips on them. Uh, you got some bags. Uh, card sleeves. You got some cubes. So you got purple, yellow cubes, blue, red, and black cubes. Then you got some bigger cubes, same colors. Uh, okay, and then you got um, green and white meeples, green and white discs, and some bigger meeples. Uh, you got decolored meeples, uh, colored discs. Are these different sizes or the same size? Those are just two packs of discs. Uh, you got the bigger, larger meeples. Uh, some more cubes, green and white cubes. Got some wood, uh, wood colored cubes. Uh, some gray cubes. You got the little standees. So here I'll show these to you. So see, you can like stick something in there, like a piece of cardboard or paper, and it'll it'll just stand up on the board. Um, you got this, so you can draw objects on it. And you got a measuring tool. You got a arc thing. Uh, you got dry erase markers, uh, presumably different colors, and you got these blank cards which would have been <laughs> useful for me. I wouldn't need to have draw, hand drawn, uh, or I wouldn't have needed to cut these already pre-cut uh, cards. It looks like they're different colors. Let's see if we can get in there. So you got uh, like a purplish blue, normal blue, red, and they're pretty good, um, yeah, pretty uh, uh, sturdy. And you know, they, they're pretty glossy too. So you, I can see you could uh, like uh, draw in here with uh, dry erase and uh, you know, erase it. And I think you could also, you know, write on here with permanent marker and it would be, uh, you know, it would, it would uh, looks like, or feels like it would stick. Uh, I'm not sure how many cards there, I mean, it feels, like almost a hundred if not a hundred in just that one stack and then same here and it looks like here you got uh more more colors probably a color for each of the colored uh, meeples and discs and cubes if i had to guess so yeah black yellow purple Nice, so you can make your own like card game or cards for your game, like uh, like what I have uh, for my Hideous Madness game. Okay, so let me repack this and then we'll move on to the uh, upgrade kit. Okay, now we'll do the upgrade pack. Okay, same kind of thing. Got this outer sleeve here. All right, and another box, a uh, blank box that you can put your own imagery on. All 
Okay, so you got some more uh, wooden cubes, uh, some more gray cubes. Uh, you got gray dice, um, some wooden gray discs. And ooh, uh, these are good. Little things to hold all the pieces. That's always a useful thing for board gamers. So even if you're not designing anything, and that's a, the other good thing about this, uh, these kits is even if you're not designing any board game, you could always use these as like spare pieces or, you know, you can use these in any board game. Uh, we got some, uh, oh, oh wow, look at that. These are like little uh, lightning bolts. So like, uh, look at that, those are cool. Well, they're very thin, but uh, really neat. So they're like the, instead of the tokens, you can use these. Yeah, I might use these in my game for uh, power, because I only need six, and I have more than six here. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, let's see, you got these um, little crystals of the colors of meeples that were in the other box. You got yellow, blue, red, uh, black, or grayish, and uh, purple. These are pretty cool. Uh, some more bags. Uh, you got a little, uh, like a cloth bag here to shake stuff up and pull stuff out randomly or to just store things. Uh, you got uh, physical or physical uh, wooden hearts instead of the uh, heart tokens. Same with uh, with stars. Some more meeples, the um, gray meeples, and then the wooden meeples. A big version of the meeples. And some more dice, uh, but the wooden dice. It looks like these are lids uh, for these trays. Let's try it out. Okay, I mean, they hold... Uh, it doesn't feel like uh, it would be too sturdy. You probably don't want to put anything heavy in there, but uh, you know, it, it holds tight enough for something light and small. All right. Well, that is it for the uh, the upgrade pack and the board game uh, starter kit. Thanks for watching.